That was our previous video where I showed you how to process organic waste into feed for the black soldier fly larvae. In this video, I'm going even to take it further to show you how to introduce the black soldier fly hatchlings, known as baby larvae, into fermented organic waste in just five steps. You will be discovering how the fermented waste influences larva growth, which result into high quality black soldier fly larva for our fish, chicken, and pigs. My name is Martin Tenua, an expert and trainer in black soldier fly farming as a business. Step one, let's organize the containers where we are going to introduce the fermented waste and the BSF hatchlings so that they grow. We have plastic containers that you can use. We also have the bensons that you can use. We also have the standard black soldier fly crates that you can also use. Alternatively, you can use recyclable old jelly cans on your farm and also in your community. These jelly cans, actually, they can be cut. It is one, but it can be cut into half and you get two pieces for use at your black soldier fly railing. This is very innovative. You can also make a one by 2.5 meter box using temporary bricks and a plastic sheet or tarpaulin. The same boxes can be made using timber offcuts or bricks if you want it to be permanent to serve you in a long term. Step two, let's now mix our waste. This is the waste that we prepared in our previous video. So, it is advisable for fruits and vegetables to stabilize the moisture content to about 75%. So how do we determine this right moisture content? When you squeeze and you see that uh, there is a lot of uh, drops that are coming out of uh, this waste, that means the moisture content is excess. To achieve a desirable moisture content of this waste, you can add in any other drier substrates. Let's say maize brand, rice brand, or even dry manure. For this case, we are going to add in a uh, maize brand. I normally advise to, for every 100 kilograms of this waste, at least add in 10 kilograms of the drier substrate. The more you use different waste substrates, which are high in protein and carbohydrate, the more the larvae will grow faster, big in size, and with a high nutritional value. Step three, let's introduce our mixed waste and the BSF hatchlings into the containers. For every one kilogram of black soldier fly hatchlings, we are going to prepare 20 jerry cans, as you can see them. Each jerry can is going to handle about seven kilos, and we shall introduce about 50 grams of black soldier fly hatchlings. If you do not have a weighing scale to weigh the 50 grams of hatchlings per container, simply divide the one kilogram of hatchlings into 20 parts for each of the container. This temporary box contains about 130 kilograms of our mixed waste, equivalent to the waste that we put in 20 containers. So for now, let's introduce 
one kilogram of hatchlings into the box. The hatchlings will start feeding as soon as they are introduced onto the waste. Step four, introduce the containers which have the waste and the hatchlings onto a rack. This rack can be made out of metal or even timber. This depends on what is available or what you can afford at your farm. The last critical important step is labeling. The importance of labeling is to keep track of our batch or containers as we monitor the growth of the larvae. If you stack containers on each other in a vertical form, it saves the space, meaning you are producing more black soldier fly larvae and frass in the same space compared to the horizontal box. Whereas the horizontal boxes require much more space, they are easy to operate with less labor compared to paying attention to multiple containers during feeding of the larvae and harvesting of the larvae. It takes 8 to 14 days and the larvae will be mature and ready to be harvested. That wraps up our module on black soldier fly rearing. Up next, I will show you the most exciting part, harvesting of the black soldier fly larva. Do you need a detailed guide about running a successful black soldier fly business? Reach out through the contacts at the end of this video. Guys, I've got to go because it's starting to rain. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.